Hi, Maryam. Can you introduce yourself? So, I'm Maryam. I'm 24. I come from Algeria. Um, I'm living in Paris at the moment. I'm doing a master's in international affairs. Um, this is my second time volunteering with Care for Kelly. Yeah. I was here back in June 2021. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know. Um, I really enjoyed how the organization worked and how, I don't know, just the, the connection we have with the refugees that are here. Why do you coming here to support refugees? Why? Why refugees? I feel like it's so important because... Um, you I'm, think it's I'm important? An I'm an Algerian woman and I yeah. feel very uh, privileged to have had, um, you know, the chance. And I mean, it's to come to Europe in a legal way because my country and France have, you know, a past and like, I just feel very lucky. And these people are just normal people like everybody else that just can't come through legal ways and they just want something better for themselves. Why refugees are coming here? What's happening in their country? What, 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 what is that fair? It's mostly from war-torn war countries. Um, I've been speaking to a lot of them and I always not always, but when, you know, you start the conversation and stuff and they feel comfortable with sharing what they want to share about their life. Um, I always ask if at the moment where they first started the, their journey, like the moment they left their home country. Why they're leaving I, their countries? I always ask if their main goal was to go to the UK because it feels like they go through so much, so many borders and so many countries in Europe and in Africa and in the Middle East and so it might feel like you know they just wandering around and they just try like this to go to the UK or something but no like they're very determined to go there very often it's because of like the language because they come from countries where they already speak English many of them also have relatives in the UK and it's just Many of them also, it's their dream to go to You're talking UK. about refugees. Yes, the refugees. Refu why they are refugees? Why they left the countries? What's happened in their countries? Most of them have war in their countries and they, they have no prospects. Do you know who's, ma who, who's making the war in their countries? For example, Afghanistan or <laughs> Iraq or Kurdistan or... Yeah, tell me. I mean, it's mostly Western countries, I guess. And even if it's not like a, um, from Western countries, it's just like countries where there is like terrorism and stuff like that. So it's just, it's not safe for them to be there. They don't feel safe. They don't have any work or um, future prospects of just having just a normal life of like growing up, going to school, having a job, kids, a family. And they don't see that in their countries. Do you think that you're gonna come back here again? Yes, probably. Uh, I tried to come. Yes, because the first time I left, I, I was in the train and I, I kept thinking, I have to go back. I have to go back to help them. And then all the time when I see like the news on TV or on the papers and I see what's happening in Afghanistan, in Ethiopia, and all those countries, I'm like, okay, I know there are people from there in Calais right now that are also watching the news from their home countries. Maybe they're thinking about their families there and they have like no way back home. So, yes, it's like, yeah, I might, I'm probably come. Some back people, back. they can't come, but they wanted to help. What they can do? What do you think they can do in the, in the in their in their cities, in their countries? I mean, so it's, yeah, probably uh, do protests and stuff like that, and like trying to charities. Yes, charities, obviously, to help. But I feel like the changing policies is the most important right now. Protest. Maybe. What kind yes. of? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell me. You know, I don't know. <laughs> But I think that this is a, a, a policy problem. We should have policies. To they need change. Yes, that need change. Because, I mean, it's amazing to have so many donations. And every day we go out and we give things that has been donated. That's the humanity. Yes, yes, yes. Of course, everyone shares, everyone donates. I've been, I've been 
putting everything in the shelves. I feel like it's been two hours now <laughs> from the donations. <laughs> it's like reverse grocery shopping. But um, yeah, this is already like so much. We go through donations so much also. Like every morning there is like a van coming and we can go through it and give them really good quality stuff. And they're very happy. Very often at the end of the distribution in the... Um, in fantastic the, in the camps and in the in the settlements they come and they show it they're like look i got a new a new a new hoodie or a new pants and stuff like that and they, they, they're really happy thanks very much Maria. fantastic <laughs> hope you. to see you again here yes thank hopefully. you thank you